Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I am starting a new video series on solving problem related to dynamic programming. Now I will be solving problem from educational DP contest at AdCoder and there are uh, problems from A to G. So what I am planning to do is I will be solving each problem in one video and I will be explaining the intuition behind solving that problem and how I approached that problem. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, there are tasks from A to G and the level of difficulty increases as we go down and so what i am planning to do i will start solving the first problem which is the easiest of the lot and let's see what the problem is statement says so there are n stone numbered from 1 to n and there is a height associated with each stone which is hi and initially the fro frog is at stone 1 and he want to reach to stone n and he can do couple of operation uh, suppose he is at stone i and he can jump to stone i plus 1 or stone i plus 2 and there will be cost associated with that jump so imagine if he is at i and he jump to stone j the cost is h i minus h j and we are taking the absolute value so we have to find the minimum possible uh, cost incurred when the frog reaches a stone n. Okay, so let's see the input for the problem. Now, this 4 is the value of n, and this is the height uh, or all the value of hi, and this is an array of hi. So and now what we have to do we have to find the minimum cost incurred uh, from stone 1 to stone n so for this problem the answer is 30 and let's see the path so we had taken the path from 1 to 2 1 to 2 to 4 so this is the path and this the cost associated with that let's try to solve this problem now assume the input which I showed you earlier uh, in a form of array uh, and initially the frog is at stone i and he can take uh, steps i plus 1 or i plus 2 if he is at i and the cos is hi minus hj and j is the stone to land on. So what are the key observations we can make here? Now, for simplicity, I will not uh, tell you that this is a stone, uh, the path from 1 to 2, uh, rather than I will just show the path like this from 10 to 30 or 10 to 40. So, imagine this is the first stone and what path he can get, take. So, he can go to I plus 1, which is here 30 and he can also go to 40 which is i plus 2 so 10 to 40 and we can see one more thing here which is from 10 he can go to 30 and then he can go to 40 so there are two paths for each into value 40 now uh, if you see here the uh, since there are two paths to reach to the same stone we have to minimize our solution so we have to take the minimum of these two value now how can we solve this problem so first we will maintain a dp array where we'll have some large value and for simplicity i have taken 999 to be really large value but you can take the int max value here now when the uh, frog is at is at stone 1 the uh, jump will always cost 0 because jumping to the same stone will be 0 so 
dpo of 0 will be 0 and this is the current tp state 0 uh, 999 and so on and if he is at stone i he can jump to i plus 1 and i plus 2 so these are the two values of j now this is the dp state as you have seen here now let's see what happens for i is equal to zero i is equal to zero now i is equal to zero just means that we are at a stone one and j is equal to one two because the, those are the value of i plus one i plus two so dp of one will be 30 minus 10 which is 20 why because from a stone uh, 0 I can go to this position uh, which is as a stone 1 so this is 30 minus 10 and this is the answer so the value will be updated in the dp now for dp of 2 the value will be 40 minus 10 which is 30 because from here I can go to here and the cost will be 40 minus 10 which is this value now the dp value will be changed which will be 0 20 30 and 99 999 and now let's try to compute for i is equal to 1 so for i is equal to 1 uh, the j value will be 2 and 3 and this is the current dp state so i is equal to 2 uh, the value will be uh, whatever uh, value we have at i is uh, j is equal to 2 which is 30 and um, uh, the cost uh, by which we can reach to 30 from this 20 path because uh, we are now it at this i uh, which is stone 1 and uh, so i am assuming we are starting from stone 0 and this is stone 1 so we have uh, calculated the path from 0 to uh, 10 to 40 which we got at 30 but uh, what about the other path which is 10 to 30 to 40 and we have the cost associated with jumping from 10 to 30 which is 30 but we also have to calculate the cost from 30 to 40 which is also a part and i have told you earlier that we have to consider the minimum so we already have a, a cost uh, jumping straight from 10 to 40 which is 30 but we need to calculate the path from 10 to 30 to 40 which will be 20 which is the cost of jumping jumping from 10 to 30 plus uh, what, whatever the cost will be from jump it from 30 to 40 which will be 40 minus 30 and the, we will have the minimum of this value which is 30 now you got the idea right so for dp of j we have to calculate calculate minimum with which is dj which is the current position and then di if i am at that stone or whatever the cost associated with that stone plus the absolute value of jump into j from i which is ai minus aj now let's try to convert this into code and i will open a custom test here so that i can write the code and let me see the input so input is n and the array so I have actually tested this problem but I'll do it again for you so this is the value of n and we have we need to have an array which will be of integers so let me just write the code and I'll try to explain it now So we have taken the input uh, of for the array. Now what we have to do, we have to fill the DP with some values, and I will take the maximum value, which will be match. I don't know match size into 
n and dp of 0 will be 0 as i have told you and as explained you earlier i also have to import this library now i have the dp filled with the maximum value and the first value at 0 now i will go from i is equal to 0 to n and now i will have a loop for j which will have i plus 1 and i plus 2 value so this will be i plus 1 and go to i plus 2 okay now we have to be sure that j doesn't exceed value of n and now i can calculate the value of each j so this will be a minimum of what is the current value at j and the cost from jumping from the i to j so that will be dp of i plus uh, absolute value of jumping from i to j which will be a of i minus a of j so this will be the answer and now once we have the answer we have to just print out the last value of n which will be dp of n minus 1 because we need to give the cost for reaching from stone 1 to n so we will be uh, given the dp of n minus 1 value now this for the input let me just see whether the code is correct is it the value yeah, so i think it should work let's test for for this input okay, i am getting the value as 10 with the answer was 30 let's see what i have done wrong here so i haven't taken the range function here which is causing me the problem now if i try to run i should get the value as 30 yeah so let me run this code we'll come to know whether we are getting the ac for this question ac by the main by the it means that the answer is accepted oh yeah we are getting ac that means our solution is right so that's all from my side if you like my video please subscribe i'll see you in the next video thanks everyone